Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite part-time YouTuber, Crow, and we have big news on the Mr. Beast front as he has issued a cease and desist to Dogpack404 over his video accusing him of fraud. Now, I, I want to jump into talking about that, but before I do, I I've got to address this uh, uh, tweet by Drama Alert. Former Mr. Beast employee who tried to expose Mr. Beast hit with cease and desist allegedly just days after another employee debunked him. Do you think they're going to go to court? You know, honestly, I, I I don't know. But what I do think is that stupid little gnome Keemstar really needs to shut the fuck up about how this has been debunked. Now, I reviewed Dogpack 404's video, and as I've said, very compelling evidence in his video of some really heinous activity that Jimmy has been engaged in in order to grow and promote his brand. Now, after this video by Dogpack 404, another employee, current employee at Mr. Beast, came out and basically said, nah, -uh, he's a liar. Trust me, bro. And I'm I'm not kidding, okay? The the employee, I think it was my name of Clyde or whoever, he basically just says that this guy is lying about everything. He shows literally no proof of any of the things he's claiming. He has a financial motivation to lie on behalf of Mr. Beast. And on top of that, he didn't even address the core points of Dog Pack's video. So, so again, I really wish Keemstar, Drama Alert, whoever the hell is running this account would, would kindly and politely shut the fuck up and stop trying to lie to people that it's all been debunked like it's it's actually a little frustrating because let's say it was all debunked right Let, let's say dog pack 404's video uh, was so atrociously bad all it took was some idiotic employee to come out and basically accuse him of being a liar and, and that was the end of it then why the hell is mr beast going through and scrubbing his channel why is he deleting streams that he had posted on facebook that were featured in dog pack video and why is he issuing a cease and desist if this 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 stupid video was just so easy to debunk because it's not because obviously it is not and obviously that's not how the, like how any of this stuff works now the the other thing i got to bring up is he goes oh he tried to expose him uh, let's be very clear this video is a week old on a channel that was just created that's only ever uploaded one video this channel now has 132,000 subscribers and at seven point three million views on the video. I wouldn't say he tried. I'd say he succeeded in exposing Jimmy. So I, I don't know what Keemstar's angle with this stuff is. I really don't because the only person who seems to be acting very shady and dishonest here is Mr. Beast. And given the other stuff, right, that's currently going on with Chris Tyson and the Discord logs and all of that other stuff, I, I just, I don't get why we're giving this guy charity at this point. I, I, I really do not understand. It. In fact, uh, uh, Ant Ant Andy Worski came out and was like, not a good look on Mr. Beast here. He obviously doesn't want more to come out since Dogpack 404 is planning more parts exposing Mr. Beast. I wonder how he is going to handle this. I do not think Jimmy of Mr. Beast actually understands what he is dealing with here. I and I'm going to give you my opinion on Dogpack. I think Dogpack hates Mr. Beast. I think he despises Mr. Beast. And I don't know when that hatred developed. OK, I, I really I, I, I honestly cannot tell you when it developed. Was it before he started working for Jimmy or was it afterwards? Was was it during the time he started working for him that he saw all these bad things and he just had to get out? I honestly don't know. But this guy is willing to put in the time and effort in order to expose Mr. Beast on every single front. Not to mention, I, I think he's also extremely patient because a lot of this stuff he must have been sitting on for a pretty long time, but he sat on it. He waited for the Chris Tyson stuff to come out. He waited for Jimmy to be dragged into it for people to start giving Jimmy the side eye and then he dropped his video. So this is somebody who clearly has some inside information on what's going on with the Mr. Beast crew. He's clearly very patient and I don't think he's the type of guy that's going to be scared away because you sent him a cease and desist letter. Now to be clear, you have to send that letter before you take any type 
type of legal action. But a lot of the times when people send those letters out, the hope is that you will put a shock into whoever you're you're targeting so they shut up. And I, I mean, one, you're, you're on like a clear cut First Amendment violation here by trying to get them like, I, I, I don't know where this would even take place if it did go to court. But this is this is an idiotic look, okay? Because everybody already thinks Jimmy is hiding things and covering them up. So you issuing out this cease and desist and, and not responding to anything in the video, like I get not responding to the video because you want it to go away, but you sending out the cease and desist, it's it's actually a message to people that dog pack, whether or not it's true, right? Perception is reality on this stuff. To, to people that are looking at it, they're going to see Mr. Beast is scared and he's trying to shut this guy up. Unfortunately for Mr. Beast, like I said, he does not understand what he is dealing with here. This guy is, is it's it's obvious he has way more stuff on Jimmy because once he got this cease and desist, and I, I'm going to just play it in the background as I'm talking here. Um, You can, yeah, like, only because I can't uh, uh play the music on it, but he, like, he was ready. Like, he, he was clearly ready for this letter to hit him. He, he put together a whole little compilation for, for Jimmy just for when this letter got sent to him. Does this look like the type of guy who's going to be scared by this thing? Or does it look like you just keep giving him ammunition to use against you? And here's the problem, okay? Because a lot of this video, he's basically saying, hey, look, I'm, I'm going to keep digging in even deeper. Let's talk about the time Jimmy lied to everybody about how he was working to clean up the ocean. And, and the thing is, the guy makes some pretty good points here. And, and this is nothing that was even featured in his video, okay? This is something new. So now he's like, okay, well, you tried to, you, you want to shut down that video? How about I just keep presenting even more information to people? Let's talk about how uh, you pretended to be doing a good deed, but in reality, you actually caused even more environmental damage. Like, I don't think Jimmy, the Mr. Beast crew, or whoever is telling him to go this route actually understands what they're dealing with. But at the same time, what is the solution here? Dog Pack isn't going to stop. Jimmy obviously needs it to stop because it's going to hurt his brand. And, and like I said, in Dog Pack's video, when he starts exposing the fact that Jimmy is allegedly engaged in hundreds of instances of illegal lotteries, when he's showing that Jimmy is essentially promoting a, a, a soft form of gambling for kids with, with a lot of these things that he's been doing, when he's exposing that Jimmy is rigging his competitions and pre-selecting who is going to win or lose, depending on if it's someone that he knows or if it's a friend of his or if it's another very super popular streamer or, or influencer that's going to draw even more viewers over to the Mr. Beast brand and their merchandise and whatever, like all of that stuff, okay? It, it, it's getting into this very dicey legal territory. But the thing is, it's not like anyone's been reporting Mr. Beast for any of this because his audience is primarily kids and like it just kind of gets swept under the rug. But now you have a video out there with 7.3 million views and Jimmy has uh, uh, picked fights with, with companies that he probably shouldn't be picking fights with like Hershey's. I, I'm not kidding. You want to go go look up the stuff Hershey's has done to potential competitors to their brand. Like they will destroy your life over freaking candy bars. So so my point is Jimmy does need Dog Pack to go down. Like he needs Dog Pack's channel deleted. He needs them shut down. But if YouTube comes in and and wipes this guy's channel out or takes the video down, well at that point it's going to say to everybody YouTube's protecting Jimmy. We all know that they're already doing that. Like we we already know that they're protecting Jimmy because the video uh, uh, got shadow banned. It didn't help. It just brought even more views to the video. Like nothing is working for Jimmy here. And he, if he comes out, he's honest and admits to the stuff that Dog Pack is accusing him of. Well, that's not going to help him because he's going to admit to illegal lotteries and scamming kids <laughs> and scamming children. So yeah, for Jimmy, I think the only thing he can do is threaten legal action, but oh, I, that's not going to help you. Like that's not going to do anything for you. Jimmy is screwed, okay? Jimmy is screwed and he put himself in this position. The cease and desist is going to send up a flag to everybody that Jimmy is scared and this is going to ruin the Mr. Beast brand. I am curious what YouTube is thinking in the background here. I I, I, I wonder where they are, where they're going to start leaning pretty soon because I don't think that they can step in because nothing Dog Pack has done in this video violates any of their rules. And if you try to come in and step on a guy 
who has one video on his channel, like it just, it makes it look like YouTube is scared. So anyways, guys, um, Dogpack's response here to getting a cease and desist was essentially, hey, now I'm gonna expose another thing that you did. And like, it's not gonna stop, all right? This guy's gonna keep doing his uploads and Jimmy doesn't have an answer for what's going on here. He can't admit to the truth because the truth is, uh, uh, according to Dogpack, illegal lotteries and scamming children. He, he can't keep issuing out legal threats because the legal threats make it look like he's trying to cover things up. I don't know, but this was, this was bad. This was a, th th this move, it might have been the only move Jimmy has, but I, I think he was better off shutting up, not responding to any of this stuff, right? Let this idiot, uh, 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 I'm, I'm, you know, as, as far as like Jimmy's concerned, let, let this idiot upload his videos, right? And, and don't respond to any of it. But then you had another employee come out and try to, de you know, quote unquote, debunk according to Keemstar. And, it, and that only made things worse because he didn't debunk a single thing. And all he wanted to focus on was like the, the weakest claims in the video. And even then he didn't debunk it. So it's like, oh God, this is, this is a, a bad year for the Mr. Beast brand. And I think that we're going to see other entities start putting a magnifying glass on this guy and it's not going to be pretty anyways guys uh, those are my thoughts and opinions let me know what you think in the comment section below um i'm, I'm curious what you make of this because I, I i can't think of any way jimmy has out of it the the smartest thing to do if he is actually guilty here was shutting up and not engaging in it but now that he has oh boy